Hi everybody. Today I got this neat little Yahtzee game. Yahtzee! The classic shake, squirrel, and shout dice game. You got these neat little dice. You got it's Firefly Collector's Edition Serenity Spaceship. Pretty cool, huh? Shiny for ages eight and up. One or more players. It says John Malcolm. Join Malcolm Mal Reynolds and the crew of the Serenity who are ready to shake up the verse with America's all time number one dice game. Always ready for the next big job. The Firefly Collector's Edition of Yahtzee includes the Repsco Serenity with the Cargo Bay as the dice cup and custom dice colored after the engine itself will you look help you against the alliance roll your way to victory with classic dice combinations like full house large straight and five of a can I'm not really wanting to open it. But I might. If y'all like this video. If you people really want me to open it up. I may actually open it up. But I'm going to actually get you. Do a review of. Um, Firefly the board game. So. I'll be back with it. So, as you can see, I have Joss Whedon's Firefly, the game. Find a crew, find a job, keep flying. By Gale Force 9 Games. After the Earth was used up, we found a new solar system and hundreds of new Earths were terraformed and colonized. The central planet swarmed the Alliance and decided all the planets had to join under their rule. There was some disagreement on that part. After the war, many of the independents who had fought and lost drifted to the edges of the system, far from Alliance control. But out here, people struggled to get by with the most basic technologies. A ship would bring you work, a gun would help you keep it, a captain's goal is simple. Find a crew, find a job, keep flying. Find a crew. Travel to different locations, handpick the best crew and gear, purchase upgrades to customize your Firefly, readying yourself for the challenges ahead. Find a job. Deal with contracts, reputable or not, and build your reputation as a successful captain. Avoid morality, questionable jobs, or Grab whatever work is offered. You do the job, you get paid. Keep flying. Dodge bloodthirsty reavers and invade Alliance Pro trolls as you navigate the verse, fighting to keep your crew safe and your ship shiny. Rival captains may be looking to hire away your crew or tip off the Alliance to your plans. Find a crew, find a job, keep flying. I also have the Caladicia Rim Space Expansion Set to Firefly the game. But I don't have the Black Sun and Blue Sun or whatever the other one is. It's Rim Space Expansion Set. There's another one. The rim is calling the second rim space expansion set for Firefly the game. Calidation adds this massive star system to the verse with loads of new opportunities for adventure and profit. The long arm of the license reaches out beyond core space with the addition of the operative's corvette. Two new contracts, Magistrate Higgins and twin brothers Fetty and Mingo, provide new work opportunities for ambitious crews. The bursting port of Bermudo offers exciting new gear and supplies for captains of all sorts. New setup cards, new story cards, and a host of surprises wait the bold. I think I got the boards 
in this one. Yes, I do have the boards in this one. So, we'll look at the boards. See, there's a white sign. I think there's a red sign. There's a red sign. Hamburg. Lux. Georgia. Murphy. Let's just look at some of the planets. We got Tree Hills, Cary, Prim, Ithaca, New Hope, Nazca, Regina, Patience, Athens, Boards, Aphrodite, Herina. That's one of the people you can do business with. Alabon, Kui Shanghai, Sento, Valentine, Lauren Jen, Long Green, Bridgerton, Osiris, Ariel, and this is the Halo. Uh, Villa Rodan, Brigetta, Fusserine, Lux, Pelorian, Hamburg, Assyria, Besagaman, Red Sun's got Motorload, New Melbourne, Dragon, St. Elevens, Allison's World, Triumph, Silverhold, Hellion, Amandul, Space Bazaar, Jubilee, and to call this it, added didn't add it there and add it there. I think you're supposed to add it right. That. Oh, I'm putting it on the wrong side. Sorry, people. Sorry, guys. You add it right here. The first expansion they made, which I don't have, adds on that side, which makes the map even bigger. It's a uh, black sun or something or whatever. Anyway, this one has Pinglay, New Hall, Bellex, Cortex Relay, Wands Bane, Zeus, New Kesner, Zephner, Constance, Constance, Kaladisha, Shoji Duns, Verena, Haven, Angel, Whitner, Fatty Amingo, Bunmay, Alderin, Alberdeen, Salisbury, and Winer. Also, we have the different ships. We have the Serenity. We have the Bonanza. We have the Bonnie May. And we have the Uqua. We have these cards. You can't take the sky from me. These I think are scenario cards. Let's see here's a scenarios. Different scenarios. Yeah, these are scenario cards. Scenario cards, they tell you what scenarios, set up, goals, or how to win. If you don't have goals, you can do. So there's certain scenarios that you do to, to win different games. And you could play more than one scenario. So, uh, 
there's that. And here's the here's the rules. In case you have a copy and it does doesn't have the rules or something, you can screenshot these and you'll have the rules. Sorry for the glare. Uh, my light in my room makes glare, so I'm trying to not get it so much for the camera. I like this game. It's actually a pretty fun game. You can be good and you can be bad during the game. You can try to do... J jobs are fairly simple. Basically, you go to one of the locations where there's people and you get a job and then you go do it. I mean, I could... Probably would need to re-read the rules before I play the game with other people, but uh, I think I could probably pick it up. I haven't played it in, in a while, so. Oh yeah, here's the Caldasia's expansion sets rules. So, spoiler alerts if you only have the regular edition. This game's been out a while, so I wouldn't doubt if everybody already knows about... Stupid Claire? <sighs> oh, that's better. I kind of like this game. I would like... I heard they have ship expansions. And they have... A couple of other expansions. And they have... Uh, of course that other expansion. That makes this map even bigger. And I wouldn't mind getting them. Because... I kind of like this game. But... Everywhere I've seen is like... So expensive to buy. And... I... I think I was lucky the expansion set was on sale. I think I was lucky the expansion set I believe was on sale. Here's the ships. So you got... That's a little small problem because... That breaks every once in a while. But that's the Alliance's uh, main vessel that's chasing you down. Here's another Alliance ship that's chasing you down. And then you got... <laughs> different colors. Which, all the ships are almost identical. So, it's not like... Oh, and then you got the Corvette contract. This is Corvette contract, I think. That's the Corvette ship. And here's the Alliance contract. Or the Reaver contract. So, that's something new. You got money. If you're smuggling stuff, you gotta make money. You got the Alliance Space Cards. You got Rim Space Cards. You got Border Space Cards. You got Aim to Misbehave Cards. You got 
I think these are cards that go onto your engine uh, cards. You got Patience cards, you got Nesca cards, you got Harkin cards, you got Bagger cards, you got so there's a bunch of different people who can do jobs for them. You got Amon Dual cards, you got Fatty Amingo cards, you got Magistrate Higgins cards, you got and then the different locations where you can buy stuff. Boo Mind uh, Regina, Space Bazaar, uh, Silver Hold, OS the Ship Royal and Persephone. And then for to add Higgins, you got a new. Harvest location, which you put here so that you can have a new person to do jobs. Got this gold chip slash worn issue chip. You got die, which got the nice little fireball as a You got the dinosaur token. You got Disgruntled crew tokens. You got various mission complete tokens, various different tokens for various different things. You got lots of different crew, contra uh, lots of different cargo, contraband, regular cargo, fuel, if you need it to fly around. Uh, Fugitive tokens, passengers, fugitives, passengers and fugitives, so different cargo passengers, some are fugitives, some are, and fuel, so that's that, uh, let's just put these cards where they go, so, silver hold, silver hold, silver hold, Persephone, Persephone, Persephone. Regina, Regina, Regina. Space Bazaar, Space Bazaar, Space Bazaar. Bellamy, Belmond, Belmond. Magistrate Higgins. Fatty Amingo. So you got these people, I'm in Dole. Dole. So these different people give you a lot of space. Different people, Bagger. Different people give you different Now Harkin, his is wherever this thing happens to be. It's 
So, uh, that's pretty much the game. I would go through and, um, literally look at every card. But this video is already like 20 minutes long and I'm not sure if y'all would want to see every card. Pretty sure you don't. So, uh, so that's pretty much a look at all the components of the game uh the people cards give you jobs the location cards give you uh let you buy stuff these are your engines uh, crew are in the various different places these uh some Missions, some jobs require you to misbehave. You draw these when you need to misbehave. When you go on the border space, you draw one of these. When you're in the line space, you draw one of these. When you're in rim space, you draw one of these. Um, so uh, that's pretty much the game. Um, if you go into line space blue, you always have to draw an alliance card. Um, if you go into border space, which is Everything that's not blue, pretty much. You have to draw one of those. And if you go into this rim or that rim space, you would draw those. So, um, you can buy stuff at the different locations, which will, can make you, can upgrade your ship. Or it can give you weapons, or it can you can hire a crew, and you just do jobs. So, starting off, you have no crew except you. You're the only crew, and you got to buy your ship. Which see, they tell you how much. They tell you which drive core you got to use, or what it comes with. It tells you how much crew you can hold, and uh, these are these. Slots are for upgrading your ship. The, the stash is what you can hide. You can have more cargo than you're supposed to have, and you can hide it in your stash. Uh, then it tells you how much it costs. And it also tells you how many jobs you can have. So you don't have to just have one job. You can have more than one job going on. So in this case, active jobs three. And different crew members give you special abilities which allow you to... Break... The rules somewhat. I think the captains are in... This deck, let me... Yeah, here, here's our captains. We have... We have Burgess. Yeah, these are our captains. We have Monty. These are people you can play. We have... Corbin. We have Malcolm. You, we have... Nandi. We have... Womack. We have... Marco. We have right. These are our leaders, our captains, and there's our drive course. See, drive course. So, uh, you go around getting jobs, do the jobs, and collect your pay. So. As soon as the job's done, you collect your pay. That pretty much is that simple. You draw cards. 
complete the missions or the jobs. Sometimes you have to misbehave. Hopefully you don't get caught by the Alliance patrols. And hopefully you don't get caught by the Reavers. And you keep on flying and hopefully you stay good. Uh, here's the different look. You got Fer Persephone, which is a gateway world serving as a major port for the five clusters with large volumes of ship. Traffic mechanics of all sorts flock to facilitate found work. All manner of supplies can be had, both legal and illicit. Strict alliance gun regulations make firearms scarce. Regina is a frontier world. Regina offers many necessities for life on the rim, such as small arms and less than official ship upgrades. Alliance oversight is lax, max, making it a f favorite treat for unsavory sorts of sporados of all stripes lay low, looking for opportunities to ply their trade. And then you got the Space Bazaar, a huge skyplex station on the edge of border space. Space Bazaar serves as a primary transit hub. And shipping D4 for the Red Sun Cluster, pilots of all eight gather at the Space Bazaar to hire out their services and all manners of goods can be had, both legal and less so. Oasis Shipworks, the manufacturing powerhouse of the Alliance and home of Allied Spacecraft Corp. Makers of the F Firefly class transports, the Shipworks produce a wide variety of legal ship upgrades and advanced drive course. Osiris is also home to advanced medical research and teaching hospitals. Then there's Silverhold, which is a backwater best known for its lucrative mining operations and munitions manufacturers, home to Glowing Jaw Corp. Its markets are a cornucopia of small arms and munitions without the stringent alliance off site of the core sectors. Hill folk make up a large segment of the population. Travel through that first. And that says the same thing on that side. Just so. Oh. Um. Hope you like this little overview of Firefly. My Firefly board games. The board game and the Yahtzee game. And I hope you uh, keep on traveling through the verse. And uh, remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. And Jesus loves you. And keep on gaming. And if you'd like to see more board games, tell me something you'd like to see. And uh, I got so many. I got over 600 games. I'll try to make it happen and see what I can do. If I have it, I'll uh, do a review. And I'll mention your name. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me who your favorite character on Firefly was down in the comments below. And uh, everybody have a great day. And uh, keep on flying. Keep on traveling through the verse. Don't let the Alliance or the Reaper stop you. Go to Caledosia. Go to the other area. And up. You can't take the sky from me. Take my light. Take that, that. Take this. Take that. But you, you can take this and you can take that. But you can't take the sky from me. So, uh, that's pretty much far for the game. Uh, signing off. Right about...